wife and his family, and they joined him in the ark of safety. So you know, a lot of times, folks, and it, sometimes it's hard to win her family, but you know what I'm going to say is don't give up. Amen. Don't give up. You know, my father-in-law, we tried to win him all them years, and he went to church, and he would prayed a few times, but, but I, I believe it really took hold right before he died. I mean, if they hadn't had home services and house services and if good friends, you know, like uh, Paul Wayne Jones and, and Sylvester and different ones, Steve Mullins, if these folks hadn't come by and prayed and, and sought God and had services, then he might not have made it to heaven. But no. today I believe he's up there and, and almost fully persuaded that he is there today because people took time. And folks, that's what it does. You know, to, uh, Uncle Chester took time out to pray with him yesterday. And, and, and you know, when, and when I get uh, to... To, you know, if I ever get to where I can't get up and go, I hope somebody comes and sees me. <laughs> Amen. I hope somebody comes and prays for me. Maybe come sing me a song. Amen. Yeah. The training of a soldier, trained in spiritual warfare. God took Israel, He took them through the fire and through the flood and through the lion's den. God took Israel the long way around. Israel went around the same mountain for years and years and years and years. Will we? There's, there's mountains that we go around, and, and it's and, and I, I know there's times and seasons. I remember trying to quit smoking years ago, and I don't know how many times I tried to quit, but but every time I, I just wasn't a season, what just wasn't time, you know. And finally, they come a season in my life, and I and I had willpower for the first time, and I quit for about six months, and then took it back up along with chewing tobacco. But thank God, you know, when I got saved. Then I got delivered, and I didn't have to try and quit. I was just delivered and set free and That's still right. free. Amen. Yeah. Still free. I want everybody to know I'm still free. Uh -huh. Amen. Of tobacco and, and cigarettes and things. Amen. The little word training, a, a hand-me-down salvation. A hand-me-down. Just, just get a hold of this for a minute, and you'll see my, my children, uh, 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 Travis and them, they're, they're faithful to, to, you know, when they can, they're faithful to the house of God. To Jamie and them, faithful to the house of God. To, my, uh, to Jessica, is faithful. So, you know, it means something to have a hand-me-down salvation. You know, of all things, you know, I remember growing up and, and if I were to outgrow something, then it, more than likely it had been mine, you know, <laughs> because it's handed down, even shoes or clothes or whatever. But, but can you imagine handing Jesus down and handing your faith down to your children and handing that mantle down and, and, and as of right now and I, I feel the great presence of God as of right now I'm, I'm wanting to keep my mantle but I share it with my children and I share it with my grandbaby and I share it with a friend but I, but I plan on preaching a while amen I plan on doing a work for God while it is day because the night comes when no man can work uh, to Abraham he, he handed down to Isaac and Isaac to Jacob when we get saved, God makes a covenant with us. He said, I will be a God to you, a heavenly father to you, and you'll be my sons and my daughters. So, you know, we're elevated to a son and a daughter. And I know to, to Joshua, God said, Moses, my servant is dead. And then he, he began making a covenant with Joshua. Today, God, when we get saved, he makes a covenant. Have we shared our Jesus with our family, with our friends, have we left our children a godly inheritance? And folks, I want to, don't you? A hand-me-down salvation. Abraham taught Isaac. Then Isaac, Jacob. Moses, Joshua. King Saul, David. Elijah, Elisha. Jesus uh, taught Peter, the other 11 disciples. Jesus is still teaching today. It will set at his feet. And today, you know, we may have hard questions in the Bible. If we'll pray and seek God, then God will unlock that. And God yeah. will, will reveal the mysteries of the Word of God. I remember a friend of mine gave me a book, Dispensational Truths. Clarence Larkins is, is the, the author of it. And that, that, that was one of the greatest books that I'd ever read in my life. I mean, it, it just unfolded a lot. And I know people say, well, I just don't believe with all of it. There's a lot there. And, and, uh, and I probably don't know enough to disagree with a lot of it. Amen. But it, can you imagine to Gamal, he taught Paul. Then Paul, here, here's a, the record of, of Paul and Timothy. Paul says to Timothy, he said, he's my own son. If you receive Timothy, then you receive me. Because he is just like me in doctrine and in judgment. 
So you know it's important, folks, today who we're following. I know uh, to Brother Gibson, my one of my first pastors, Chester Trent, Chester W. Trent, uh, my, my very first pastor. And then also uh, uh, Brother Gibson. And, and, I, and I'm sure I have, you know, I have memories of him. And I thought of honoring him. And one of the songs that he sang, maybe one day we will, or I'd like to get maybe his daughters here one day to sing. But, but I, I mean, folks, uh, to give honor, you know, David says, can I honor Jonathan? Are there any of his kids left that I may show honor to? So, you know, folks, there's times that we need to show honor. You know, to B.J. McKinney, there's times I'll sing that Master of the Wind. That's in honor of him because that's, that's one of his songs. You know, to Glenn, the change in me and, and different things. But, you know, each, each one of the, the men that has stood before me, my pastors, I'd like to give honor to, and I respect them today. Training, trained to wait. 